Okay, guys, well, it's nice that you have tuned in again. We are starting a new series today. Yay! That is exciting, isn't it? We are going to talk about the names of God. Now a question. Why would God show himself and explain to the people in the Bible himself in forms of names? Now think about that. Because God doesn't need a name. He is God. He has always existed before the beginning until the end and even further than that he is an eternal being. So why would God kind of limit himself by giving himself names and showing them into in the Bible to us? It is simply so that we understand a little bit more about who God really is. So he wants to show himself by giving himself names so that we can identify with him on a deeper level. That's why we have where it says, I am the God, your provider. I am the God, your peace. I am the God who fights for you. All those are names of God that we can find, especially in the Old Testament, that show us characteristics about God. So we are going to dive deeper into what each name really means and what it means for our life. And once we understand Understand that hopefully we can represent that to the people around us because we are representatives of Jesus Christ representatives of God here on earth so we're gonna go into it the very first thing is think about when the disciples were not so sure how to pray what happened next they come to Jesus and say Jesus teach us how to pray and then Jesus said you know what I'm gonna give you this example as in prayer and the first thing he said is Pray, our God in heaven, hallowed be your name or holy be your name. See, he says, remember the names of God. Call on the names of God because that gives us a bigger understanding of who God is. So even Jesus said, when you pray, remember the names of God. So we're going to go into that further and deeper. I know this is just the intro today, very short. But you know what? As homework, <laughs> yes, even though you are probably at home, the CMCO has started already two weeks. I'm giving you homework. And let's go into the scripture, into the Bible, and find the names of God. And next week, we're going to start with the very first one. But now, we're going to open up a time. Maybe you have some questions. We have a discussion. If not, we just hang out, we pray. And that's it for today. So I'm going to see you there, guys.